here all tick tick. I guess that means we're supposed to play. Thanks, dude! We're ready! We're ready to rock, I think. I don't know. Are you guys intoxicated enough for sloppy punk rock, or...? Yeah. Not really sure. One thing is 100% for certain. If everyone has two shots of Jagermeister right now, we'll sound a lot better. I don't want one, though. That shit's poison. Don't drink that shit. What? So we're rehashing, we're from Gainesville, Florida. Uh, this is our first show ever. Uh, since the beginning of time. Uh, we're, gonna play some, we're gonna play some shit. Thanks for coming out, appreciate you guys. Uh, if you guys like slow songs, you came to the wrong show, sorry. Are we still doing the Black Sabbath thing, or?
not bad for the first song at our first show ever. Oh, God. Just so you guys know, the whole like pandemic thing, it reset every band in the world to zero. Everyone starts at zero. Like, uh, I can't think of what they are right now that hasn't toured at all, but like, uh, uh, like Goldfinger. Goldfinger hasn't toured at all. They're a zero band right now. We're bigger than Goldfinger post pandemic. <laughs> I don't know why I pick Goldfinger. It's the only thing I can think of that hasn't played a show. We're not doing any Blake songs, dude. Forget it. We are going to play a bunch of covers to promote our covers album. That we have for sale with the limited foil insert, blah, blah, blah. You record collector nerds are weird, I understand. Uh, this song is called, this is not a cover song. This song last year is called Don't Fucking Make Me. But I took the fuck it out because I knew my mom would see the record. I felt bad.
let's hear for Tony for wearing a condom during the show tonight. Yeah. Ladies, it's extra large, don't worry. Anyway, uh... I found it in my wallet right before the show. <laughs> You've had it there since the eighth grade. You can call it Which was like three months ago. <laughs> That's right, Tony 17, Bob Lennon for the show tonight. Thanks, Tones. Um, all right, so we're going to play a song from the covers record. Yeah. That, uh... Uh, the vinyl is available tonight. There's very few copies, and it's a, some fancy copy. I don't know. The guy from the record label says it's a mess up. It's a mess up. It's going to be worth money someday. Anyway, this is the first song on the record. We're probably going to screw it up. We've only practiced it three times, but it's a really good song. That's one thing about covers. They're really good songs already. So. Do that thing where you guys do it for a second, and I'll come in. shit since I don't have a personal photographer like some of these bands. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, that you know, for police, they were no, kind of was, okay. They were pretty good for, for a bunch of cops. Yeah, I normally fucking hate them. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. That's things. That felt really good, not gonna lie. We never did that in front of people, so that was cool. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Got the nod from the record label guys, so that's a good sign. I love calling you that when you show up. This thing that was hilarious. Uh, this one's called Waste My Words. It's the last record. Also available back there on vinyl. Almost sold out, not really. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is the best show of the whole year. Seriously. Your mom's the best band in Florida. I haven't had to say that. Yeah, but I saw them play and they had an off night. Get it? Anybody? Oh, that was fun. All right, so we're, we've been told that uh, that in our old days we're slowing down, so we're going to play some old school rehasher songs. That means it's fast as shit. And uh, I'm not sure what the COVID protocol is for circle pits, but I heard that you're allowed to have a circle pit outdoors. So if anybody wants to go out there, feel free to uh, circle pit. No, 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 that's, that's, that's violent. All right, so this is a fast song. Uh, <laughs> It's a really fast song, actually. You got calm down, man. Calm down. Don't hurt anybody. Don't tell him to calm down. Look at him. All right, don't calm down. This song may be our best song ever. It goes out to Nick Light. It's called City. It goes like this. than most drummers. That's, that's like, think about that. That's like working with one less testicle and still making that shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, wait. Am I supposed to have two? That's good art, man. No, you're supposed to have three. But everyone's born with two. I get sorted in everything in my life. I have this problem. I keep titling all the songs really similar shit, so when I read the title, I don't remember what song it is. It's like, I don't feel anything, I don't feel like going to work, don't turn out the lights, don't do this, don't do that. I don't know. They're all the same songs. Uh, this one's actually called I Don't Feel Anything. And I can't even, what is this on the 7-inch? This is on the 7-inch, right? Yeah, this is on the 7-inch that record label guy put out. That's been long sold out. Sorry, dude, I'm pulling out again. Uh, but uh, I, don't th I think we played this song one time before we actually recorded it. I remember Carolyn was at the show, and uh, she was like, I like that song even though it wasn't done. Yeah. Anyway, this song is called I Don't Feel Anything. It goes like this.
band. Who wrote that song? Wow. That's a tough one. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot. I'm going to drink some beer. Hold on. Can anybody get a beverage for my pal, Alex, that's back there? What kind of beverage? Uh, a strong one. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, not water. a strong one, like a water one, like an H2O one. What do you You don't make H2O here? Okay. Oh, excuse me. I, uh, I learned how much I spit when I sing, which is really gross. Are you double layered right now, though? No, it's just I spit okay. through the first one already. So I'm on to number two. <laughs> Way to suffer for the fans there, Tones. Thanks to you guys for keeping a little distance and being smart. We, uh, people are like, you guys, are you going to play the show or are you going to cancel? And we were like, I don't think there's going to be that many boneheads on our show. You guys are like sensible people, so be smart, thanks. All right, here's another don't song. We're going to play another song off the cover record. Uh, this is for one of my favorite bands. They're called Screechy Weasel. Yeah, you like that band? That guy's an asshole, but man, he writes some good songs. Don't get that on tape. I love that. Oh, busted. So we're going to play a song called Dirt Out the Lights. And uh, it's a little rehashery, but it's pretty much just like they do it. So if you like the song, buy our album and then uh, go buy some future music shit. Okay, I'm gonna, I gotta, I got to remember the song. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Holy shit. All right, here we go. Don't turn out the fucking lights! Alright, the rest of the set's the encore. Yeah. <laughs> Six song encore. Sometimes 
you got like some toxic fucking people in your life and it's hard to detach from them and look, sometimes you just gotta get right to the point. That's why I wrote this song, it's called There's No Easy Way to Say yeah. Fuck You. that one like ever or yeah just it made, I, I stole my drums after I saw Alex play I was like I'm not playing drums anymore. Alex is very good Alex, come on that's a dirty filthy lie I played his drum set the other day <laughs> <laughs> I was really stoked to play that my bass didn't work for like half of it oh man did it again it's hardcore it's fixed that's all Tony has to use his hardcore shit on his face, so it fucks up sometimes, but but it's hardcore shit, so you gotta use that shit. Hey Tony, not hardcore unless you make hardcore, man. I forgot how this one goes. Oh yeah, yeah, oh this one's weird, this one's weird. This is on another 7 inch that is hereby sold out unless you want to overpay for it on eBay or some shit. That's like What? 20 copies left? Oh, there's 20 copies left, says the label guy. That's pretty cool. I would buy one if I uh, had, you know, if I wanted to wait six months to get it delivered. But anyway, this song is called uh, another one of those don't songs. It's a don't. Uh, oh yeah, turn it inside out. Turn it inside out. Yeah. Uh, this one, this one gets a good good amount of Spotify love. So maybe you're you're like uh, your stepmom has it on her playlist. I'm not sure, but it goes. Uh,
adding to the list of first times again. We've never played that song live. Is this the best show ever or what? I'm having a good time. Okay. Trying to say a few words back there? What's going on back there? You need a microphone? Another out of print seven inch that you cannot ever buy ever again. It's a few years old. Uh, I don't even think you can get it on eBay. You have to go back to like uh, like MySpace to find it. So it's like really old. Discox, what did you say? Discox. Oh, you're talking about Discox? That was a weird thing to say halfway through the show. Anyway, this goes out to people that work shitty retail jobs and hate it. Oh, Tony. Tony, you're the inspiration of the song, I'm not gonna lie. The song's called Everybody Hates Their Job, go like this. You guys, I'm saying this completely sincerely and from the heart, you guys are the best audience we've had ever this year. Best show of the tour, too. We're playing tomorrow in Gainesville, if anybody's bored. Uh, it's not this nice. It's not this nice there. But people will be drunker because it's Gainesville. Alright, so uh, what else are we going to play? Are we really going to play all the songs on the list? I thought the plan was to like scratch some out when like, my vagina hurts or whatever. Oh, I don't remember this one. Oh, I don't remember this one. There you go. Boom. Done. Just play till they cut you off. We don't know how to play that. Song. Play till we get circumcised. Got it. Okay, so this song, uh, this actually is the number one rehasher song on Spotify. No bullshit. Does anybody know what song it is? Eat the one percent. My, my man. Oh, he just looked at the cellist. Just days out of the cellist. 
Sriracha, you know? Fucking just... Fuck I would eat a basic sandwich, no fucking problem. I don't even eat the Sriracha. This song's called Eat the 1%. I'm really... Wait, am I playing the... I was gonna play it in the wrong key, that's how angry I am at billionaires, but anyway. <laughs> Sound, you guys, that's fun to do. If anybody out there has always, ever thought about playing in a band with your friends, fucking do that shit. That's a good time. Cover that song. Yeah. Every last song. Cover that song. Bands should cover that song. Every band. That would be amazing. Imagine the comp record of all bands all playing Eat the 1%. Only available on Apple Music. Be a fucking so good. Cool, we're gonna play one more song from the cover record, and uh, we feel like we have to promote all the songs on the record, so this one has the least amount of plays on Spotify, because nobody knows who the fuck this band is. But we love it, so we're gonna play, everybody knows that song. That song sold like 8 million records. What are you talking Oscar. about? Phoenix. Oscar! Oscar, not Oscar. All the old school people know who that is. Come on. We're gonna play one by our, what's up you good? We're gonna play one by our buddies in Eat Defeat and they, they wrote the song and we love it and it's uh, called Debate Day. It's another one of those I don't wanna go to work type songs. We can relate. My day job sucks. Have you seen that band? They're terrible, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. Okay. This one's called Duvet Day and it goes like this. to play it anyway. It goes out to the guy that bought two pieces of vinyl and a t-shirt. It goes out to that guy. Don't fuck with that guy. That guy's a fucking super fan. Oh, 
Artists, you guys are excellent for coming out and hanging out tonight. Make sure you tip your bartenders, they're doing an excellent job tonight. Because some people are pretty intoxicated. Uh, if you're taking pictures and video, make sure you tag me so I can post that shit. Up your hand. Uh, this is going to be our last song. Unless you guys scream one more, then maybe we'll play one, but probably not. No, 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 this is our last song. After this one. No, if you do that now, then you are Never mind. I thought you guys were more experienced at this shit. There you go. Someone can do math in the audience. Thanks very much. This song is the first song I ever wrote for a band called Rehasher way, way a long time ago. First song and uh, about finding that inspiration, you know, you gotta find that shit. This song is called Lift. <laughs> got it. But we're not playing anymore after this, no matter what you say. This is the last song. We didn't practice anything else. We only practiced this song twice, because I made these guys fucking play the song. I wanted to do one more cover, but a cover that's not on the cover record, to really fuck shit up. And, uh, yeah, but why not? Thanks for coming out. No shit, man. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, see you next time. See you on the Newfound Glory Tour. Maybe. I, I was gonna say see you at the 311 concert, but I can't fucking go now, so I'm gonna be on tour. <laughs> Whoops, I did.